Let's talk about the impact of the internet on the creative and cultural industries. And clearly a big part of this is the whole move towards digitization. So that I often use the term, and many others do too, of the creative and digital industries. Because digital is, is so important nowadays. And I've seen over the years graphic designers who were trained to um, design for print have adapted to designing for websites and other digital products. Frankly, some haven't adapted so well. Others are, shall we say, digital natives and have trained and graduated in the digital era. So we have within the creative industries so many digital uh, aspects, digital photography, illustration, animation, computer games, and of course book publishing, which is an area I know about from my own past experience in uh, book publishing and distribution and marketing, and as an author. So as well as eBooks, which are so prevalent nowadays, and we read them on our Kindles and other devices, it's also interesting that uh, through digitization, we can print locally. So that instead of printing a book um, in one country and then distributing it physically around the world as a paperback, we can send digital files to local print um, distribution centers, uh, manufacturing centers, even print shops. And people can print individually um, on their own uh, office resources. So digitization has massively changed the world of the creative industries. Of course, with the internet, we also have global reach and even the smallest of businesses can reach customers literally all over the world. And so uh, the tiniest example is how freelancers can use a platform such as Fiverr to do small amounts of creative work for just $5 or pounds or five whatever, small amounts of money. And other platforms, you know, are perhaps for larger projects, including things like Upwork and Freelancer.com. But larger businesses too, not just freelancers, can benefit from this global reach. And I see so many businesses in the creative industries who have clients all around the world. And these are not big, huge corporations that have grown from local to regional to national to international. No, these are relatively small businesses who, you know, even amongst their first 10 or 20 customers, there are some of them from overseas. This is not just about freelancers. This also applies to larger businesses um, who even in their first you know, years uh, or months even can have international clients as part of their portfolio. And I've seen it so often in the creative industries with designers of all kinds who have been able to expand overseas even in the first six months of their business. And this immediate export is a, a new phenomenon. It goes against the traditional grain of how in the industrial era you had to, you had a factory, uh, you might expand regionally and nationally and then internationally after 20 years or so. No, we can, we immediately have the whole world at our reach. And it's just astounding how businesses can expand internationally, even in the early days. And then through the internet, we have different distribution channels and we've, we've all seen the growth of YouTube, which has been absolutely amazing as a distribution uh, option for creatives and many other businesses and individuals and all kinds of things are happening through channels such as YouTube. And we see it in the creative and cultural industries too. So the National Theatre, for example, in the United Kingdom, um, which is a traditional, uh, highly respected theatre, has now gone online so that they can dist you know, distribute live performances to cinemas 
in the UK, the rest of the UK, and indeed internationally. So, you know, this is just an amazing new dimension to what can be done in the creative and cultural industries. And then COVID-19 and the crisis that that has brought has pushed businesses to become even more online, um, including my own business. So I'm doing much more of my work online, whether it's um, speeches and webinars or workshops, and of course my online coaching, um, much more online. And I'm no exception. This has been a global phenomenon, I think, with people moving online and the options for diversification have become even greater than before. Not only can we sell new products or expand into new markets with our existing products, but actually we can diversify much more uh, extensively because we have um, adapted products to the digital age and because we can distribute them in new digital ways using the internet. So I would say in conclusion that, you know, the world has been getting smaller for a while. The internet has been a huge part of that. It's had massive implications for communication and for business. And the creative and cultural industries are no exception to that. In fact, I think they've thrived more than any other aspect of the economy um, due to the internet and the effects of digitization as the world gets smaller.